Service area time. If I could give you one tip, children, on this one, it's not to memorize this formula or to not only have it memorized, but really think it through. It just makes it so much more fun to know what's happening here, right? So the surface area is adding up the areas all around. If you know that, you know how to find the area of a rectangle. You just have to repeat it over and over again. There are just a bunch of different rectangles here, right? So this rectangle and the other rectangle are the same. This rectangle and the bottom rectangle are the same. And then, you know, I won't draw the third one because it'll be confusing. So let me explain. And then, you know, and then we'll just go through the formula. So if we have 5 times 2, that's this, right? So this area is 10. But then there's another 10. So that's another 10. And then this is 2 times 5, so this is 10. And then this thing over here is another 10. And then you could take this big face here, which is 5 times 5, or 25. And then you have that other back face, which is 25. So you have to add up these six faces. So you'll have 25 plus 25, which is 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So it'll be 90. So that's the principle of this. And in the next problems, I'll give you a, you know, a computational way of doing it, right? So it's 90 square miles. So what's a shortcut here? The shortcut is to say, you know what? We have a length, a width, and a height. We're going to have length times width, length times height, width times height. Right? Those are the three things we did last time, right? Like this times this was one type of shape, and then this times this was another type of shape, and then this times this was another type of shape. And we add them all up. And then we just multiply it by 2, because we've missed half, right? So that's, that's the idea, right? So let's, let's work it out with the formulas. So we have 5 times 4 plus, just like take all these numbers and multiply them in every which way and add them. 5 times 4 plus 5 times 2 plus what's the one we missed? 2 times 4. And then you just add them all and multiply it by 2. So this is going to be 20. This is going to be 10. And this is going to be 8. So this whole thing is 38 times 2 is 76. So 76. OK, let's, keep, let's practice the formula again. It's, real, it's really fun, right? So it's just. Take all these numbers, multiply them in every which way, and add them. 4 times 4 plus 4 times 1 plus 1 times 4 all times 2. So that'll give us 16 plus 4 plus 4, which is 24. 24 times 2 is 48. Right, so the surface area is just the area around the surface, adding all the faces, right? Okay, so 1 times 5 plus 1 times 1 plus 5 times 1. All times 2, this gives us 5 plus 1 plus 5. That all gives us 11. Times 2 is 22. Okay, how about this? 4 times 3. So I'm doing this times this. 4 times 4 plus 4 times 4. And then I'm doing this times this, right? Just every single combo, plus 3 times 4. And I'm multiplying that by 2. So that gives me 12 
plus 16 plus 12. So 12 plus 16 is 28, plus 12 is 40, so 2 times 40 is 80. All right, how about this? 5 times 1 plus 5 times 4 plus 1 times 4 all times 2. So this gives me 2 times 5 plus 20 plus 4. So this gives me 2 times 29 which equals 58. Just checking in my head, because I want to write the wrong answer down. So 58. Okay, how about this? Uh, we're in the multiple choice. It feels like we're playing a video game. We've gotten past the hard part. That's how I always feel when we get to the multiple choice. One times four plus one times five plus four times five, all times two. So this will equal two times four plus five plus 20, which is two times 29, and that will just be 58. So 58 square inches. This is three times one, plus, sorry, that's a one, plus three times one, it's a really ugly one, plus one times one, all times two. So that's three plus three plus one, which is just seven times two, or 14. Okay, how about this? Two times three, plus two times four, plus three times four, all times two. So that'll give us six plus eight plus 12. So that's 26, right? I add the eight and the 12 first to get 20. 26 times two is 52. All right, and here we go, three, one, one. So three times one plus three times one plus one times one, all times two. This gives us two times three plus three plus one, that's three plus three plus one is seven. So that should give us 14 square centimeters. All right, friends, that was surface areas of rectangular prisms. So maybe you have a shoebox or something. See if you can calculate the surface area of that shoebox for fun. And I'll see you next time.